So by 2018, you were already representing New Zealand, competing on the world stage in the junior division at the IPF World Champs. Do you remember that first junior worlds? That f well, I don't want to give too much away. That first title. Give us a little bit of insight into what you can remember from that competition. From when I sort of the seed was first planted that maybe I would go to worlds to like what actually transpired at the event. Really like massive change in in expectations because when I first entered, my coach at the time was like, oh yeah, you could. You could maybe get a bench medal because they do medals for individual lifts um and i was like yeah that would be super cool like i'd be stoked with like getting on the podium for any lift so that's kind of like <laughs> where we started and then you know i guess as we got closer to the comp and my strength was progressing i didn't really realize this but my coach was like oh she could maybe win this like he thought i could win i was nominated sixth um and even during like the competition I was just, my nerves were just so high. I had like no concept of what was going on. I was just so overwhelmed by like how different the experience was, like not knowing everyone that you were competing against. Like that's really different to what it's like in New Zealand where they're all your mates. Right. You're like, I don't know any of these people and none of them wanted to talk to me. They were like not very friendly, <laughs> which I found quite confronting. And then I ended up winning and like I was completely shocked. And you came away with some junior world records? Yeah, the squat and the total, I think. So, just sort of change direction a little bit. You've been powerlifting for a number of years now. What is it that you like about powerlifting? What attracted you to it in the first place? And what keeps you coming back to it? I think that my love for powerlifting has really like evolved over the years. When I first started, I really enjoyed like being able to see yourself progressing like it's so tangible so quantifiable you can lift more next week than you did last week um and that that is entirely kind of dependent on yourself and what work you put in but then i think like obviously as time progresses it's harder to get those pbs to get those gains every week um as you become a lifter who's more advanced um and i started to find other other joys in it, like the community, um, I guess giving back to the sport. Like I've found so much joy in running competitions now and trying to make the Fed as, as good as we possibly can so that like more people want to join and more people find the sport of powerlifting. And I think like through that whole journey, it's just been discovering abilities in myself that I didn't know that I had and never would have thought that I was capable of. So you touched a little bit there on um, in recent years you've become a bit more hands-on with your involvement with sort of running competitions that side of it with Auckland powerlifting with the NZPF. So my next question is why the NZPF? Why the IPF? What makes it in your eyes the best powerlifting federation in the world? I mean I think the NZPF is the best national federation in the world like hands down and I think that we are we're kind of lucky in how that came about because it really could have gone either way um, when we had a big rift a couple of years ago and it was, yeah, politics. But, you know, we had so much young blood come through, myself included, and, and um, it took it in a real different direction. And I think that one of the reasons it's so good now is we're really invested in trying to make it the best for the lifters like how can we make this a really good experience for our lifters how can we grow it more um what is going to give people more opportunities to do more meets and and like make these meets more exciting and all that and i think for the ipf like there isn't really another equally legitimate option um and the ipf is growing so fast that i don't think anything's even close to catching up